Hello there guys, it's me your host Naveen Bharti back again with a new video on our Python series. Guys, the topic of our today's video is to discuss our print and input statement in Python. Guys, but before proceeding to our video, I have a request to you all. If you are new on my YouTube channel, subscribe to it by pressing the red icon down below and make sure you have turned on the notification bell to all so whenever I upload a video you will be get notified so guys without any further delay let's get started guys as you can see that I am on our working directory I am in our documents folder and inside it in our python tutorial subfolder subdirectory so guys now as I have told you that we are going to discuss about the print and input statement and if possible we will also try to discuss if else statement in this video if time permits guys but if the video will get too longer then we will be discussing the if else statement in our next video upcoming videos so guys I will click on new python 3 ok so let it load I will change the name to 03 dot print and input statement ok so here we are in our worksheet so we are going to discuss about print and input statement let me write print and input input so guys as you can see that uh, as you also know that for what it is used guys as we all know we are familiar with the word print that print is always used to show the output and the word input is used to take the input from the user so guys the same meaning is here in this python language so guys when we are to print a new line when we are going to print a result then we are using the print statement just you have to write print all in lowercase and inside the parentheses you have to write the data you have to write the value what you are going to print so guys if you are going to print a number then you have to just insert the number within the parentheses of the print statement and when you click the run then you will see that the number inside the parentheses of the print statement will get printed on your screen but guys what if we want to print a string as we all know that guys the string are inserted in double quotes or single quotes so guys if we want to print a string then we have to insert the whole string inside double quotes or single quotes so guys as we want to print say john smith so we need to insert the John Smith inside double quotes or single quotes and when we run you can see that it has printed John Smith. So guys now take a variable a and uh, say that a is equal to 12 plus 12 ok. When we run and when we see the value of a we get it as 24 but guys we need to print a. So what we will do print and inside the parenthesis we insert the variable name. So guys when we will print a the value of a will be printed on our standard output. So guys this was the all fundamental basics about the print statement but guys imagine if you are making a form ok if you are making a form in python then uh, you were to ask a user what is his name what is his age what are his qualifications and all those stuff. So guys how we will do ok all the codes we are writing till now are hard coded as you can see that we are printing 123 which is a hard coded number we are printing a string which is also hard coded we are printing a number sum which is also hard coded but now guys if we want to take input from the user then what we need to do so guys the thing we need to do is to use the input statement to take the input from our users so how we will be using that just you have to write input give a parenthesis and what is your message to the user so guys if i say what is your name and when we will run then you can see that it says what is your name and just besides that there is a blank box in which we can input our result so guys if we say our name is john and hit enter then it gives our result as john guys as we know that a variable can also store a number a variable can also store a string or anything else so guys we can store it in a variable called name so it says name is equal to input and inside that we will ask what's your name okay that's fine and we will, when we will run then it says what's your name and when we will say smith and when we, when we will run then nothing happens okay guys something problem is there 
uh, I need to restart the kernel. Okay, I have restarted it. Restarting kernel. Okay, now it's fine, I think. So we will run it. Kernel ready. Okay, so what's your name? I will just input Smith, press enter. So guys, you can see that nothing's happened. Just the word which was written, just the message which was written just beside the input box, it's written and just in the right of that message, our result is also got printed. So guys, what we need to do now is we want to print our name. So the name is Smith and it has got stored in the variable name. So what we want to print, we just need to print name. So what we will do, write a print statement and inside the parenthesis of that, we will insert the variable that is name here. Okay. So when we will run, you can see that it has printed the name Smith. Okay. So this was print. Okay. This was the input statement. We have seen here that how we can input take input from the user, how we can store that in a variable. So guys, I have one task for you. The task is that you all have learned about the compound interest and simple interest. So guys, I have one task for you. Write a program. So you need to write a program in Python, in Python, which will accept three variables, principal, rate and time. So guys, you need to take input from user, your principal value. So what's your principal? You need to take rate from the user. You need to take the time for the compound interest. So guys, these three parameters you have to ask from the user. And now after that, when the user have successfully entered all these three parameters, you need to calculate, you need to calculate the amount after the given time period. Okay, given time period. So guys, the formula of the amount in compound interest, uh, I hope you all guys know very well. So it's actually guys P parenthesis 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. N is here time guys. So I will try to write down here. So amount is equal to P multiplied by. So here P is capital P for principal. 1 plus 1 plus. Oh sorry. It's I. 1 plus R upon 100. So here small r stands for rate. And here exponent P. So this is a formula of amount guys. Using this formula you can just find the amount for the given period of time. So your task is what? Write a Python program to ask for user to enter principal rate and time and calculate the amount after the given period of time or say for the given period of time. So formula for that is A is equal to P parenthesis and inside the parenthesis goes 1 plus inside parenthesis R upon 100 and whole raised to T that is time. So this will be your task for the next video. We will discuss this problem in the next video. Now you are familiar with input statement, print statement. So guys, just you did not need to worry about that. Just write simple a program to ask the user for principal rate and time, enter all those steps. And you need to just show on the screen what is his amount after that given period of time. Okay guys, so it was about the print and input statement. So guys, now we will be talking about if else statement. But guys, if we talk about if else statement in this video, the video will get longer. So we will be discussing if else statement in the next video, guys. So I hope you will be clear now about print and input statement. I will link this worksheet file in my description down below. I will share my Google Drive link in the description so you can download the, it from there. And guys, thank you for watching. Please share this video if you like, like this video and make sure to turn on the notification bell after subscribing my channel. Guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Take care.